check me out over on TikTok at Real Geekdom 101. What's going on, everyone? So today was a very interesting news day in the world of Dragon Ball Super Superhero. They released a promo video. I'm going to call it like a promo trailer discussing some information about the new film with a little bit of new footage and uh, a little bit of an interview snippet as well, which I want to go ahead and talk about here on this video because there is some confusion going on and rightfully so. Um, now, first of all, I want to credit the people who were able to gather this information and put it out there for us. DBS Chronicles, uh, Inumaru 08, and DBS Hype. All credit goes to them. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it because there's going to be some confusion out of this. And I don't blame people for being confused because we don't have a straight answer on this yet. But we're going to talk about this here today on this video. So leave a like if you're here. Um, I promise you you'll like this video and leave a comment. And even if you don't like the video, hit the like button anyways and leave a comment and tell me why. But what you should do is leave a comment and tell me what you think about all this because I want to get people's feedback on this information because I don't even know what to think. Okay, so I got to give this some thought in the coming days. So um, Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes coming out June 11th um, says here. Oh, and if you're new, subscribe. Hit that button because this is the place to be. Says here um, from DBS Chronicles. I'm going to get to this here in, 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 in detail. That it reveals that the movie is a sequel to Broly, which it is after Broly. But confirms that the last fight that was fought on Earth was the fierce fight with Broly. Now, that's going to bring up a lot of interesting questions. Because if you've been following the manga, you know that the Granola and the Moro arcs. Well, Moro first, then Granola. Takes place after Broly. But we don't know exactly when. So there's been this debate about... When does this movie take place? And for a long time, I was pretty certain it was after Granola. But this changes things, and I'll tell you why. We know that the Moro and Granola arcs are linked, right? Like, Moro ends, and then Granola starts right after, right? Because, you know, we see 7-3's head and whatnot. Um, so those are linked, right? And we know that this film takes place a while down the road because Goten and Trunks have grown up, Pan is older, and we're near the end of Z timeline, the 28th Tenkaichi Budokai timeline. But we also know that the last fight fought on Earth, if you're following the manga, was not the fight with Broly, it was the fight with Moro. The Granola Saga, the majority of it's not on Earth, right? We can scratch that one off. The Moral arc, however, the some of it was on Planet Namek, some of it was with the Galactic Patrol, but most of it, like the end, like the final act, was on Earth. Because remember, Moro fuses with the Earth. So that doesn't make any sense. It, doesn't, it, it contradicts this. So either there's an error there, or there are a couple of different possibilities about what could really be going on. I'm going to get into that here as we go through this promo video. So let's go ahead and go through it, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on that and whatever else is here. Uh, let's go ahead and discuss it right now. 6月11日公開 this is the translation explaining the highlights of the film. Story set on Earth. We knew that. This movie stage is set on Earth after the fierce fight with Broly. Now, it's after the fierce fight with Broly, but the second part goes into more detail on that. Um, but they don't, it's not right after because Goten and Trunks are kids in the Broly movie. Remember that, they're kids. And so it, it can't be like right after, like a week after or anything like that. It has to be sometime after. Now, what I want to do real quick is I want to actually move my head up a little bit. That way you guys can see the bottom part there. As you can see, I moved my head up there. Uh, let's get back to it, though. <laughs> Uh, it says, you know, who are you guys? And actually, some of this, some of the top subtitles are off the uh, the screen, but it says, who are you guys? Because it says that, you know, peace did not last. The most evil army in the world, the Red Ribbon Army. You can't, you might not be able to see it because I have the banner blocking it, but, you know, that's there. Um, let me actually see if I can remove the banner here just a moment. Give me a minute, y'all. I got to make some adjustments on this. Okay. We got rid of the banner. I'm going to put the banner back shortly, but I want to real quick get through this with you guys. The most evil army in the world, Reverend Army. That was once destroyed by Goku, had some survivors that were secretly alive this whole time. So that implies that even though Goku destroyed them in Dragon Ball, 
Dr. Garo, aka Dr. Jiro in Dragon Ball Z was not the only survivor. Now, a lot of us thought that what this was, was the Red Ribbon Army being remade again. Not that they had survivors, but that there's people who kind of took over and like decided to rebuild the army. But it looks like members of the original army survived from all the way back in Dragon Ball, which at this point was decades ago, like in continuity, that was decades ago. Um, so I'm interested to find out the age of these characters, see if they were younger. Like, I am curious about that. We know about that. And here we have, of course, the most evil weapon, which is the rumored final boss, uh, of this movie. Now there's been some fan art that's been going around of like, sell in like a B form. That's a lot of different fan artists giving their perspective on what they want him to look like based on that little spy bug that was discovered a couple days ago that was revealed. That is not official. That's all fan art. So when we get official art, I'll cover it here on the channel. But whoever this final villain is, whether it be a new cell or somebody else, the art you see now is not him. But here we get a look at that containment unit about to explode, it looks like. Show them your true strength. This is the beginning of a never-before-seen super battle. I love the way they promote these things. How will this deadly battle turn out? Now here's some of the new information now um, that's about that has come out about this film. He's, I mean, I, 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 I reported this in August of last year. He's, uh, he is the main character, and it says here that after the tournament of power, he went back to focusing on his studies. So he was not training since then, unfortunately. But he may train the movie too. So now I know we also report here that Gohan has at least three fights in the film, so curious to see how that turns out. Awaken form is of course um Another name for the ultimate Piccolo form, but Awaken form is a cooler name, I would say. So Piccolo Awaken makes sense. Even though if you're play if you're watching this video and you play like Dokkan Battle, Awakening has a totally different the definition for you. This is not really in terms of that. You know? Potential unleashed. Ultimate. Same thing. It's the same thing, y'all. The voices, of course. And it's interesting because what's interesting about what she's saying, guys, Nozawa, about like how, um, every shot is amazing and all that yes a lot of that is you know um it, it is them hyping up the movie and whatnot but and the reason why i'm saying that is because um let me get to this part the reason why she's saying that is because uh she's trying to hype the film up because remember she has not seen the finished product yet masako nozawa although she has voiced these characters, has not seen the finished product yet. She doesn't even know what the movie's gonna look like when it's out in theaters. So either her the storyboards look good to her or what she has seen looks great. There's stuff they've seen that we haven't seen. Obviously, they work on the film, but it's one of those things where it's, hmm, it's difficult to say. Now, we're gonna get to that Broly thing that I promised to talk about here in just a moment because it is discussed here. We knew all this. Mark over here, but he has a mark in a good way. Yeah, it doesn't matter the role he got. 
he got to be in Dragon Ball. It's a dream for a lot of people in Japan. Get to be in a Dragon Ball movie. Like that's a dream come true. Even if you're not, a, even if Dragon Ball is not your favorite franchise, just imagine being cast in a Dragon Ball movie. Like that's a career changing event. A crooks can I do? All eyes are on you. You know what I'm saying? Toriyama is so respected over there. I've talked about this. Some of you guys don't understand that, but he's he's like the Stan Lee of Japan in some ways. Like one of those like Jack, Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, like super respected manga author. But most of you know that. ピッコロさんとタイジすることが多かったのでそのピッコロさんとのやりとりっていうのはそのガンマ2号のらしさも出るしミヤの自身の喜びも画面から感じられるというふうにもう気合い入れて立ち向かったみたいなところがありますので
But this puts another monkey wrench into all that because as of right now, we still don't know if this movie takes place right after Broly, six months after Broly. It can't be six months because Goten and Trunks are way older. Maybe a year, but... Then where does Granola and Moro fit? Is that after that? Like, or is it just a story for the manga only? There has to be an explanation, and we're probably not going to get that explanation until after the movie comes out. Because if they explain it, it could spoil a major plot point of the movie. See what I'm saying? So we're not going to get that answer yet. So everybody has to be real patient and wait to see what happens. But I personally feel like it could end up being a plot hole. But I'm not going to say it's a plot hole yet until we see the film and we find out everything because then we'll get full context for everything. You know, you just don't know. Like, we can't talk about something being a plot hole until we actually get the full context for it. You know what I mean? So... That is what we're going to find out soon. But I want to let everybody know who's asking about this. Like, I didn't see anything there that said it's right after. It's a sequel to Broly, but not like right after. Right after could be Granola, then Moro. I'm sorry, then Moro. I'm sorry, Moro, then Granola, then this. Or something totally different or nothing. Or, like, or maybe it is two different continuities. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't have a straight answer for this. Nobody can give you a straight answer on this because they haven't revealed it yet. And until they do, nobody else can. So feel free to speculate. I think the two different continuity thing makes sense. I've talked about that before. But I still think that if that is the case, when the anime, when that returns, we're going to get the Granola and Moro arcs adapted. But it'll probably be different. It'll be done, it may be even very different. But that remains to be seen. With that being said, thanks for watching the video. Spread it out to everyone. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.